Hello everyone, Phoenix Knight here. Welcome to the channel, and welcome to a new playthrough on the channel. Baseball testing continues to heat up as we move to Inside Sports Games and another game of Inside Pitch Baseball. We're traveling back to two, mid time to 2007 this time for another matchup. Before we get into tonight's game by meeting our starting pitchers, I should mention that in this round of testing, I'm more interested in the days and nights I'm testing than I am in the games themselves. The game lengths aren't a problem so far, so now the test is how the days in question fit together with everything else. And once again, I'll explain how, why these days in particular are what I'm targeting. Last night's test of Apple Baseball went very well, so I'm hoping for similar results tonight. But with that, let's set the scene for tonight's matchup by first meeting our visiting starting pitcher. We're turning the time machine tonight back to April 30th, 2007. The starting pitcher for the Texas Rangers tonight is Vicente Padilla. 6-10 in 2007, 71 strikeouts, and a 5.76 ERA on the season. Not a very good one for Padilla from the looks of it. Anyway, that's our starting pitcher for the Rangers. Now let's go meet their opponents today on April 30th. On April 30th, 2007, say that in English, the, the Rangers were in Toronto to play the Toronto Blue Jays, and the starting pitcher is one Roy Halladay, probably the ace of the Blue Jays' staff. 16-7 and seven in 2007 with a 3.71 ERA, 139 strikeouts, and 45 walks. We're at Rogers Center tonight. Looks like a pitcher's park. Plus two to strikeouts, minus one to walks, and doesn't modify home runs at all. Had 173 homers hit there in 2007. So that's it for our start, for our home details. Now let's move over to the main game area and set everything up over there. Everything's set with a shot over here. I was just adjusting a few things to make sure everything looked okay. So I think we're all set up here with the finishing the singing of O Canada since we are in Toronto at all. Let's say we drop down to the field for the first pitch and play ball. As Halliday finishes up his goes through his warm-up tosses on the mound, let's take a look at the starting pit starting lineup for the Rangers. We've got Kenny Lofton tonight in center field. Michael Young is at shortstop. Mark Teixeira is at first base. Sammy Sosa is the designated hitter. Hank Blaylock is at third base. Ian Kinsler is at second base. Brad Wilkerson's in left field tonight. Nelson Cruz is in right field. And Gerard, Gerald Laird is catching tonight. So that's the end of Halliday's warm-up tosses. Kenny Lofton will step into the batter's box first for the Rangers. He had a 296 average with 7 homers and 38 RBI in 2007. Tonight we're going to use blue, white, and white dice. Ranger, not Rangers, Blue Jays are the home team in Toronto. So the fans at Rogers Center are all set for this one. We've got a loud sellout crowd of 14,000 some odd fans here tonight. So let's get to the first pitch without further ado from Halliday. That's a 4-3. That's a walk. The 11... The 11's going to miss thanks to the minus one on Rogers Center. Lofton... With a 2-5, and instead, that's going to be a base hit past first. So Lofton will get on with the leadoff single. Infield will move straight to double play depth coming out of that as the shortstop, Michael Young, comes to the plate. 315 average, 9 homers, and 94 RBI in 2007. Strategy roll for Lofton. That's a 13, nothing happening there. Kenny Lofton will stay where he is. Young will, Halliday will wait for the sign... Wait for the sign from Phillips, and here's the pitch. 1-4. That's a strikeout. The three, swing and a miss. Struck him out. Next up with one out, next up will be Tashit Mark Teixeira. 30 homers, 105 RBI in 2007. Rerolling strategy. That's a one. Lofton's going to get the sign to go to... I believe Lofton gets the sign... To go to second, I'm just going to double check here. Uh, yes. Lofton will get the sign to go to second. He's a 15, actually he's a 15 plus zero. Catcher is a, catcher's a plus two arm. Lofton's going on a one to 17. Lofton will be safe. 
15, he'll make it easily. Lofton will steal second on that strategy roll. Infield will move back now that they don't care about the double play. Strategy, re-roll strategy. Nothing happening on the, uh, the six. Uh, he doesn't get the sign to go to third, but I think the hit and run becomes available here. Uh, Teixeira against a righty is a strikeout of a 12 plus 2. They do get the hit and run, but I'm going to call that off. Lofton's got pretty good speed on the base pass. And a pretty bad arm, if I remember. Actually, bad arms, I think, all around in the outfield. Yeah. So, pretty much any hit, any contact will score Lofton. Halliday waits for the sign from Phillips and the pitch. Infield is back, by the way. I moved the wrong thing. There should be one out. So, let me... It would help if I actually am paying attention. So, Lofton walked. Then what happened with Young? Um, I'm trying to remember how he got out. I know he... I know he... Oh, he... I think he, he struck out. That's right. He struck out... Mm, yeah, he did strike out. So that was a, we'll call that a swinging strike three. Anyway, now that we've got that sorted out, Halliday gets the sign from Phillips, and here's the pitch. Four, five. Strikeout chance. 16 is going to miss. Teixeira. Two, five. That's a ground ball to third. They will... That's a ground ball to third for the sure out. Uh, actually, do they get the sure out on that? Because Lofton is a... Actually, they're going to hold Lofton at... They're going to hold Lofton at second, throw it over to first to get to share for the sure out. That's a... That's going to be a G3. I'm just going to check the runner. I think Lofton does have a chance to advance, but... We are... Uh, probably not a ground, probably not a ground ball in the infield. I think they would probably look loft and runner on second. Runner advances on balls hit the first. Actually, that would be a. So he actually does advance to third since I was grounded to. Since that was an unassisted. Since that was an unassisted play at first. Lofton would make third base. I'm. I should probably mention that I'm still learning this game a little bit, so bear with me as I'm kind of having some growing pains with it. Two out now is Sammy Sosa's the batter. 21 homers, 92 RBI in 2007. Rerolling strategy for Halliday. That's a 20. Halliday is going to turn. Is going to fire to first, and no, Lofton will get back to the bag. So Halliday will turn and deal with Sosa. Here's the pitch. 4-3. That's a walk. That's a walk. 15. That's ball four. And just like that, we've got runners at the corners for Hank Blaylock. Halliday already having issues today. He's got two walks on the day. Hank Blaylock steps into the batter's box next. He, he had 10 homers and 33 RBI in 2007. Checking strategy. And that's a five. Lofton and Sosa are both staying, are both staying put. Halliday waits for the oop, as I'm dropping dice. Halliday waits for the sign from Phillips, and here's the pitch. One five is a blank. Blaylock. One five. That's going to be skied to left field. Getting under that will be Lind. He'll pull it in, make the catch, and that will retire the side. Two walks, but nothing else happening there. So. Halliday manages to get out of trouble in the... Manages to get out of trouble right away in the top of the first. Nothing for Texas. Toronto coming to bat now. While Padilla makes his warm-up tosses, we'll take our first look at the Blue Jays starting lineup for tonight. Tonight, in, for the, tonight starting for the Blue Jays, we've got Adam Lind. Once this decides to focus, Adam Lind in left field. Alex Rios in center field. Lyle Overbay is at first base. Frank Thomas is your designated hitter. Troy Glouse is at third base. Matt Stairs is in right field. Aaron Hill is at second. Jason Phillips is catching. And John McDonald is at shortstop. 
Padilla finishes his warm-up tosses. Adam Lynn steps into the batter's box. He had 11 homers and 46 RBI in 2007. Padilla waits for the sign. Waits for the sign from Laird, and here's the pitch. 4-4. Four, four. That's a blank. Lind. 2-6. That's going to be fly to left field. Getting under that will be Wilkerson, and he'll catch that for the first out of the inning. As Alex Rios next steps into the batter's box, 24 homers and 85 RBI on a 297 average back in 2007. Padilla gets the sign from Laird, and here's the pitch. 4-3, strikeout. 20 is not happening. Rios. 4-4. Instead, that's going to get grounded to short. Waiting for that will be Young. He'll move it over, and that'll be the second out of the inning. I'll clear these out. And next up... Wait. Hold on. Rios. Oh, yeah. Okay. Never mind. We got it all straight now. Lyle Overbay steps into the batter's box next... 10 homers, 44 RBI, and a 240 average in 2007. Padilla gets the sign from Laird, and here's the pitch. 4-3. Strikeout. 11. Not Actually, 11 is going to be a called strike 3. The curveball just catches the outside, catches enough of the outside corner for a called third strike. Overbay can't believe it, but the Blue Jays are going to go down 1-2-3 in the bottom of the first. After one, we have no score. That'll bring us into the top of the second, where now we've got the bottom half, or now we've got the middle of Texas's order due up next. Halliday finishes his warm-up tosses, hoping to have a little better inning than giving up two walks in the top of the first. As Ian Kinsler steps into the batter's box, 263 average, 20 homers, and 61 RBI in 2007. Halliday gets the sign, gets the sign from Phillips, and here's the pitch. Four five, strikeout one. Yeah, that's a pretty easy swing and a miss at a at a curveball that looked that was very a very good curveball. One out for one out in the inning, just like that. Stepping into the batter's box next is Brad Wilkerson. 234 average, 20 homers, 62 RBI in 2007. Halliday gets the sign, the windup, and here's the pitch. 5-5. Five, five. Strikeout. 10. Struck, swing and a miss. Struck him out. Got him with a slider this time. Two down for Nelson Cruz. 235 average, 9 homers, 34 RBI in 2007. Halliday gets the sign, and here's the pitch. 2-3. That's a blank. Cruz. 4-2. Fly to, that's going to be fly to left field. Getting under that will be... Getting under that will be Lind, and that will be a quick one... That'll be a nice quick 1-2-3 inning for the Blue Jays as the Rangers go down in order. Padilla will finish... will make his warm-up tosses as Frank Thomas steps into the batter's box. 277 average, 26 homers, 95 RBI in 2007. Padilla gets the sign from Laird, and here's the pitch. 4-3. Strikeout one. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. The sinkers. That sinker worked to perfection as Thomas went after it. And there's one out. Troy Glouse into the batter's box next. 20 homers and 62 RBI and a 262 average back in 2007. Padilla gets the sign, and here's the pitch. 1-2. That's a walk. The 13. That's going to miss. Glaus. 1-2. And that's against a righty. That's going to be a fly ball to right field. Getting under that will be stairs. He'll make the catch, and that will be out number two. Actually, no. Getting under that in right field will be... Cruz for the Rangers. It'll help if I call the right team. Coming up to bat now for Toronto, though, is Matt Stairs. He had a 289 average, 21 homers, 64 RBI in 2007. Padilla gets the sign from Phillips uh, from Laird, and here comes the pitch. 4-6. Wild pitch, ball one. We'll do it again. Padilla, 1-5. Strikeout, 9. 
Called strike three on the inside corner. Stairs can't believe it, but the Blue Jays, similar to the Rangers, will go down one, two, three. And after two, we have no score. Top of the third, Halliday will make his warm-up tosses and will be back with the bot with 9-1-2 of Texas' order due up next. Coming into the batter's box for the first time today is Gerald Laird. 224 average, 9 homers, 47 RBI in 2007. Halliday waits for the sign from Phillips and here's the pitch. 2-6, strikeout 1, swing and a miss, struck him out. The changeup fooling Laird. That'll be the first out of the inning. As we come back to the top of Texas's order, Kenny Lofton steps back into the batter's box for the second time today. He reached on a walk on a leadoff walk to start the game. Halliday gets the sign from Phillips, and here's the from yes, from Phillips, and here's the pitch. 5-2. Home run chance. Righty, 1 to 17, actually lefty, 1 to 17, the 2 is good. Against a righty, Lofton needs a 5. Does he put the Rangers on the board? Does he put the Rangers on the board first? Just barely no. Lofton thought he had one, but he couldn't do anything with it. So Lofton, 6-4, Lofton instead gets a power hit to center field, or to left field. That's a, that's a 14 against a righty. Lofton's going to instead end up with a triple. Wow. So Lofton almost gets a hold of one for a homer, but instead he gets a triple out of that. Michael Young steps into the batter's box next. The infield will play in on this one. Young steps into the batter's box next. He's 0 for 1 with a strikeout. Strategy roll. That's a 2. Lofton is not trying to steal home. Not in this situation. He does get the steal sign, but he's... Yeah, no. They're not going to play greedy with... They're not going to get greedy with Lofton's speed here. Halliday. 6-5 is a blank. Young. 3-3. Three, three. That's going to be a base hit to center field. Lofton will come in to score. Young will find himself at first with a single. And that will put the Rangers on the board. That will put the Rangers on the board first. one nothing in favor of Texas. Stadium groans. Ugh. The Blue Jays try to bring the infield in to prevent the run from scoring and... Young just goes ahead and hits it right over their heads for an RBI single. Mark Teixeira steps into the batter's box. Next, he is 0 for 1. He grounded out his first time up. Infield is at double play depth. Strategy roll. That's a 17. Nothing going on there. Halliday will get the sign from Phillips, and here comes the pitch. 2-2. Two -two. Strikeout. 5. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Slider gets past Teixeira. Two outs for Sammy Sosa coming into the batter's box next. Sosa is... Sofa al Sosa also reached on a walk back in the first. Strategy roll. That's a 14. Nothing happening there. Halliday will turn and deal with Sosa. Gets the sign from Phillips, and here's the pitch from Halliday. 5-3. Strikeout 10. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And the inning is fortunately over for Halliday. Two hits, including a triple, that put the Rangers on the board first. All right, I put Lofton over here. Let's see. Then it's Young, Teixeira, Sosa. Okay. Now that we've got all that sorted out, Padilla will finish his warm-up tosses now that he's got a one nothing lead. Aaron Hill will step into the batter's box. 291 average, 17 homers, 78 RBI back in 2007. Padilla gets the sign from Laird, and here's the pitch. 5-6. That's a walk. The 4. That's going to be ball 4, and Hill will find himself on base with the first walk of the day. Infield will move with, his, with Padilla's first walk. The infield will move to double play depth as Jason Phillips steps into the batter's box. 208 average, 1 homer, and 12 RBI back in 2007. Strategy roll. That's a six. Nothing happening there. 
Padilla will turn and deal with Phillips as he gets the sign from Laird. And here's the pitch. 6-5. That's a walk. The 9. That's going to miss. Phillips. 1-1. One, one. That's grounded to short. Let's see. That's going to be grounded to short. So 3-4. Three. So three, four. Grounded to short. Second base, I believe. Ground, second, yep, second base pivot is... Kinsler is a pivot of a zero. So on a one to three, this is a double play. No. Hill will be thrown out at second. And Phillips will reach on the fielder's choice. And that will be... That will be one out in the inning. So that's a... That's going to be a 6-4 fielder's choice. As John McDonald will step into the batter's box next. 251 average, one homer, 31 RBI in 2007. Strategy roll. That's a 1. Phillips gets the steal sign, but he is not going anywhere on that. Padilla will turn and deal with McDonald. Here's the pitch. 3-4. Strikeout eight. Called strike three on the outside corner. McDonald can't believe it, but that'll be the second out of the inning. The infield will move back at this point, and we'll bring the top of the Blue Jays' order back up. Adam Lind will step back into the batter's box. He's 0 for 7. He's 0, 0 for 7. He's 0 for 1 with a flyout. It's 2007 in this video. Strategy roll. That's a 13. Nothing happening. Padilla waits for the sign, and here's the pitch. 2-2 two, two is a blank. Lind. 6-3. That's going to be skied to, skied to right field. Getting under that. Getting under that will be Cruz. He'll make the catch, and that will retire the side. Nothing across except the walk. Remains 1-0 Texas, and Padilla has 1, 2, 3, 4 strikeouts already. Let's see, Phillips was the 8th hitter. Actually, that worked out perfectly. After 3, one nothing Texas. Top of the 4th, and we've got the heart of Texas's order due up next. one nothing Rangers as we get ready for the top of the 4th. Halliday finishes up his warm-up tosses. And Blaylock will step into the batter's box. He's 0 for 7. He flew out his first time up. Halliday gets the sign from Phillips, and here comes the pitch. 6-6. Six, six. Hit by pitch. 11. Not happening. Blaylock. Stop dropping dice, Phoenix. Blaylock. 4-1. That's going to be fly to left. Getting under that will be... Getting under that will be Lind. He'll make the catch for one out in the inning. Next up is Kinsler. Kinsler is 0 for 1. He, he struck out his first time up. I'm trying to read my own handwriting here. Let's see if I can clean that up a little bit. There we go. Halliday gets a sign from Phillips, and here comes the windup and the pitch. 3-3. Three, three. That's a blank. He's not tired. Kinsler. 3-6. That's going to be skied to center field. Getting under that this time will be, will be Rios. He'll make the catch for out number two. Two quick outs for Halliday as Wilkerson steps into the batter's box. Wilkerson is 0 for 1. He struck out back in the second. Halliday looking for a nice easy inning. Here's the sign and the pitch. 4-3, walk, 6, that'll be ball 4. Wilkerson will reach on a 2-out walk. I believe he's the 7 hitter, right? Yes. Cruz steps into the batter's box next. Cruz is... Cruz is 0-for-1. Strategy roll. That's a 3. Uh, nothing happened. Uh, he would get the steal. Actually, Lofton Wilkerson would get the steal sign. 16. 16. Phillips is a plus two arm. Wilkerson's going to try to steal. He's going to try to steal second. On a 1 to 18, Wilkerson's safe. 
That's a seven. Wilkerson will make it to second easily. They're, they won't even bother throwing up there. Rerolling strategy with Wilkerson at second. That's a three. Um, actually, I don't think he would have gotten the steal sign there. Actually, I think yeah. Well, we're gonna we're gonna go with th that he did. So I he might not have, but I'm gonna make I'll make a note of that though. This is tough. So I'm not sure you got the steal sign to go to second, but we're gonna go with we're gonna go with that he did. So right. So now Halliday will turn and deal with Cruz now that there's nothing going on on the I might have been looking at Cruz's attempt rating and thinking that Wilkerson got the steal sign. I think that's what happened. So we're going to retcon. We're going to retcon the steal. Because I don't think he would have gotten the steal sign. So now that we've got that sorted out, Halliday gets the sign from Phillips and here's the pitch. That's a 6-3. That's a pitcher result. The 18, the 18 is, is going to be too high. Cruz, 6-3. That's going to be a double. Wilkerson, base runner, four with two out. That's a double to... That's a double to left field. That's a double to right field. He's a plus... That's a zero arm. He's a four... I think he's going to hold it third base. Actually, would he? So that's... to. Double. Yeah, he's going to hold it. Actually, he might... No, he'll hold it third base. So Wilkerson... Wilkerson will find himself at third base. Cruz will find himself with a double. And the Blue Jays faithful are getting a little bit restless on this one. Batter's Laird now. He's 0 for 1 with a strikeout. 1-0 Texas, two out in the inning, but the Blue Jays are... but 1-0 Rangers, two outs, but the Rangers are threatening here. Strategy roll. That's a 19, nothing happening there. Halliday gets the sign from Phillips, and here's the pitch. 2-1, that's a blank. Laird. 2-4. Against a righty, that's going to be a ground ball to third. He'll... That's, that'll be a ground ball to third. He'll flip it over to first, where he'll flip it over to first, where Overbay is waiting for that, and that will retire the side. A s bit of a scare for the range for the Blue Jays there, but they're able to duck it, and the score remains. And the score remains one nothing Texas, despite that the Bl the Rangers wanted more there, but the Blue Jays managed to dodge it. Bottom of the fourth now, Padilla is. Tenuous with a 1-0 lead. Alex Rios steps into the batter's box. He's 0 for 1. He grounded out back in the first. Padilla waits for the sign from, from Laird, and here's the pitch. 4-2, strikeout 14. Not happening, even with the plus 2. Rios. 2-3. That's going to get skied to center field. Getting under that will be Lofton. He'll make the catch. And there's one out in the inning. The batter now is over Bay. He's 0 for 1. He struck out back in the first. Padilla waits for the sign, and here's the pitch. 3 6. That's a possible error. Over Bay. 4 1. Against the righty, that's going to be grounded to. That's going to be grounded to third base. Going after that is. Going after that's Hank Blaylock. His error rating's an 11. That's a six. He will make an error on the play. He's going to boot that one. And let's see. Uh, no error check is no. So that's going to be an infield single from the looks of it. I'm, I'm not completely understanding how that works either, but we'll go with that being an infield single. 
So Frank Thomas steps into the batter's box next. He is 0 for 1 with a strikeout. Infield will play at double play depth. Strategy roll. Nothing happening on the 8. Overbase stays where he is. Padilla will turn and deal with Thomas. He gets the sign from Laird in the pitch. 6-4. Against a righty, it's a blank. Thomas. 1-1. One, one. That's going to be lined. That's going to be lined a second. The question is, does the question is, does Overbay get doubled off? And I know there's a result. I know there's a play for that. And I just got to find it here. Uh, line out. Here we go. Runner on first. It goes to. If it's going to. Yeah, that's going to the second baseman. So runner. So Overbay is going to be doubled off on a 1 or a 2. That's a 5. Overbay gets back to the bag. But there are two outs in the inning. And next into the batter's box will be Glouse. Glouse is 0 for 1. He flew out back in the second. Strategy roll. That's a 19. Nothing happening there. Padilla will turn and deal with Glouse. He gets the sign from Laird and here's the pitch. 2-4 against a righty. That's a blank. Glouse. 5-5. Five, five, and that's going to be grounded to second. That's going to be grounded to second. Kinsler will take that to the bag himself. And that will retire the side. No runs and no runs and a hit. And the score remains 1-0 Toronto. Or 1-0 Texas after 4. Once I get everything cleared here. The Overbay was the three hitter. Okay. Getting ready for the top of the fifth now, where we've got the top of Texas's order due up next. Halliday finishes his warm up tosses. Coming up to bat is Kenny Lofton. He's one for one with the triple that started the trouble for Halliday back in the third. Halliday will get the sign from Phillips, and here comes the pitch. 5-1. That's a walk. The one will easily be ball four. Right. E uh, where is the walk result here? Oh, walk. Duh. Yep, the one is very easily ball four. Halliday having some control issues today. That's his... That's at least his third free pass of the day. One, two, three. That's actually his fourth walk on the day. Texas is getting all these free base runners. Infield will move to double play depth as Michael Young steps into the batter's box. He's one for two with a single and a strikeout. Strategy roll. 17, nothing happening there. Young will turn and... Halliday will turn and deal with Young. Halliday gets the sign from Phillips and here's the pitch. 6-1. Strikeout. Not happening on the 18. Young. 6-4. That's going to be fly to right field. Getting under that will be stairs. He'll make the catch for the first out of the inning. Next up will be Teixeira. Teixeira is 0 for 2. He's grounded out and struck out today. Strategy roll. Nothing happening on the Four, or is there something happening on the four? Actually, Lofton gets the steal sign now that I'm paying attention. 15, 0, and a plus 2, 17. Lofton, hmm. Do I try to steal here with one out? I am trying to learn this game a little bit more. So I think, I think in a one-run game, I think you do try to steal, I think you would try to steal here. Lofton's going to, Lofton's going to go to, head to second. On a 1 to 17, Lofton will be safe. There won't even be a throw. Lofton will make it in there easily with his second stolen base of the day. That'll also take away the double play. We'll re-roll the strategy. Nothing happening on the 10. Halliday will turn and deal with Teixeira as Lofton is being a beast on the base pass today. Halliday with the pitch. 3-1. Range play at the park. This is our first time going to Rogers Center's card today. Rogers Center... 6-4. That is a blank. We're going to have a rare play with men on. That's a 33. With less than two out, shallow fly to right, right field will resolve that as a range play. 
That is not going to be the that's a range play to the right fielder. Matt Stairs is not the guy you want to be hitting it to on a range play. He stunk out there. His range is a one. And to the surprise of no one except for possibly my non-existent cat, Stairs cannot make the play on that one. So it will fall in front of him and that will be a base hit. Teixeira will reach, and then what happens with Lofton? He gets a late break attempting to advance to the next base. Roll 1d6 versus, versus base running and right fielder arm. So base runner plus his arm, stares his arm as a plus one arm. That's a, so on a 1 to 4, Lofton will still make third. He will make third. So a base hit on it being hit to stairs on a failed range play, and then Lofton makes third. Not what you want to see there. And Halliday finding himself in... Halliday now finding himself in all kinds of trouble. The infield will go back to double play depth. As Sosa is the batter coming up now. Sosa is... Excuse me. Sosa is 0 for 1. He reached on a walk back in the first, and they struck out. Strategy roll... Nothing happening on the 16. Halliday is now in a lot of trouble. He's got to turn and deal with Sosa. Halliday with the pitch. 2-2. Two, two. Strikeout. 8. Swing and a miss. Struck him out as Sosa tries to do too much with a slider. And that'll be the second out of the inning. Sosa trying to extend the Rangers' lead with one swing of the bat, but he strikes out. Blaylock up next. He is... Blaylock is 0-2. Strategy roll for... Texas. That's a six. Nothing happening there. Blaylock will turn and deal with... Or Halliday will turn and deal with Blaylock. Halliday, 4-3. Walk, 8. That's just going to be a walk. And the bases are going to find them... We're going to find ourselves full of Rangers. Was Blaylock 4 or 5? I think Blaylock... Blaylock's 5. Bases are full of Rangers for Kinsler, and we're going to start to get some activity in the Toronto bullpen as Toronto does not like going to the bullpen this early, but they're already starting to face a little bit of trouble. So they're going to start getting, let's see, righty, lefty, righty. They've got to have a lefty in relief. Uh, here we go. Toronto will start getting Scott Downs loose in the bullpen. Two out in the inning. Bases are bases are full of Rangers as Kinsler steps to the plate. Kinsler, right. Let me make a note of the stats. Kinsler is 0 for 2. He struck out and flew out his first two times up today. Strategy roll. That's a 19. Nothing going on. Halliday will turn and deal with Kinsler as the Rogers Center faithful are hoping for a good pitch. Halliday will offer 4-4. Error on a throw. Kinsler. For one, that'll be grounded to third. Going after, that'll be grounded to first. Going after that is Lyle Overbay. His error range, his error rating's a four. That's a 12. He'll actually take that to the, actually he would probably take that to the bag himself and retire the side. So that'll be you three. And the Blue Jays are going to duck a lot of trouble. Texas managed to load the bases. But they left him packed. Score is still one nothing Texas, but it could easy, we could have easily seen this game get blown wide open, to put it mildly. So Padilla will, will make his warm up tosses, and the first batter will be Matt Stairs. Stairs is over is over one. He struck out looking back in the second inning. Padilla gets the sign from Laird, and here's the pitch. 3-2. That's a blank. Stairs. 6-5. That's going to be grounded to second. Waiting for that will be... Waiting for that will be Kinsler. He'll flip it over to Teixeira at first. And there will be one out in the inning. Next up will be Hill. Hill is... Hill reached on a walk back in the second. Padilla gets the sign from Laird and here comes the pitch. 2-1. Walk. The two is easily going to be ball four. 
Hill is the six, no, Hill's the seven hitter. Next batter is Phillips. Phillips. Phillips is 0 for 1. He grounded into a fielder's choice back in the second. Infield at double play depth strategy roll. That's a 6. Nothing happening there. Padilla will turn and deal with Phillips. Padilla, 2 6. Walk 16. Way too high. Phillips. Trying to pull that through. That was an 8. 3 5. That's going to be grounded right back to the pitcher. So I believe when it's grounded to the pitcher. Okay, never mind. So 3 0 4 since they were at since they were at double play depth. That's he's a right-handed batter, so second base is pivot. Kinsler's pivot is a zero, so on a one to four, it is a double play. No, the only play will be to first. Hill will reach second. Phillips will be thrown out. And that'll be two outs. That'll be two outs on the inning. So that'll be a sacrifice hit. Two away. As the batter now is McDonald. He's 0 for 1 with a strikeout today. Strategy roll. That's a 4. Nothing happening there. McDonald will get the sign in here. Padilla will get the sign from Laird and here's the pitch. 1 6. Range play at the park. Rogers center. 4 4. That's going to be grounded to second. Waiting for that is. Waiting for that's Kinsler. He's going to throw it over to first, and that will retire. Actually, that was a that's a range play for... I forgot, that is a range play at the park. So that's grounded to second. Kinsler, his range is a... His range is a four. He was actually... He was good. He'll get that nice and easily. He'll flip that over to first, and that will retire the side. So nothing across except the, for the walk for the ranger, except for the blue... For the walk for the Blue Jays... And the score will remain one nothing after five. We'll get ready for the top of the sixth here once I finish reorganizing the lineup for the Blue Jays. And then we'll see the bottom of Texas's order do up to lead off the sixth. Halliday can pitch to six more batters before he tires. The only reason I'm noting that is because he's been because the Rangers have been biting off at bats here in five and six in chunks of five and six here. Halliday's only had one one two three inning. That was all the way back in the second. Wilkerson is due up next. He is 0 for one with a walk today. So Halliday will turn and deal with Wilkerson after Halliday finishes his warm up tosses. Here's the pitch. Four three walk nine easily ball four. And Halliday gives up another walk to lead off the top of the sixth. Batter will be Cruz. He's one for two with a double. Infield will play a double play depth. Strategy roll. That's a one. Kinsler or Wilkerson gets the sign to go to second. And a 16 plus two, plus two arm for Phillips is an 18. Wilkerson's going to take off. On a one to 18, Wilkerson's safe at second. Not even going to pretend to throw up to second. Wilkerson will make it to second, and that's the fourth stolen base for the Rangers today, which will take away the double play. Strategy roll. That's a three. Um, they, I think they get the hit and, I think the hit and run's available here, but we're going to let him swing away. We're going to let Cruz swing away. So Halliday will turn and deal with Cruz. Here's the pitch. 4-4. Four, four. Error on a throw. Cruz. 1-2. That's a that's a, an automatic out. That's a ground ball to that's a ground ball to four to second. Going after that is going after that's Kinsler. His error rating is a his error rating is a seven. That's a nine. He's not gonna make an error on that. They'll hold the they'll hold Wilkerson at second. Actually, Wilkerson, they'll throw over to first for the out. So 4-3, one out. Wilkerson will stay put. 
batter here is Laird. He is, Laird is over two. Strategy roll. That's a one. Wilkerson now I think gets the sign to go to third, but I think that gets cut in divide by two, round down when stealing third. Attempt plus hold. Um, no, Wilkerson will stay put. Halliday turns to deal with Laird, gets a sign from Phillips, and here's the pitch. 3-1. That's a range play at the park. Rogers center. 6-3 is also a blank. We will have another rare play with men on. This time it's a 54. Deep fly to center field and caught. So that's going to be skied to center field. That's going to be an F8. So that's going to be skied to center field. Waiting for that will be Rios. He'll make the catch on that. Runner on second has to backtrack. Roll a D6 if higher than base running plus outfielder arm, then he's out. So the arm in center field is a... The arm in center field is a zero. Wilkerson's base running is a three. So if it's higher, he's out. That's a five. Rios will get it in and double Wilkerson off to retire the side. So that'll be an F8. That'll be an F8-4 double play. And the, Ra the Blue Jays get out of the inning. Stadium cheers. Yay! It's still a one-run game thanks to the incredible thanks to the arm in on, on Rios out in center field. Bottom of the sixth next, as we've got the top of Toronto's order coming up next. Lind is the leadoff batter as Padilla finishes his warm-up tosses. That was actually a one-two-three inning for the Blue Jays as well. So Lind is the batter. Lind is the batter. He's 0 for 2 today. Padilla gets the sign from Laird, and here's the pitch. Um, actually, wait a second. Padilla, we got to keep an eye on him now as well, because he can pitch to six more batters before he tires. Padilla gets the sign of the pitch. 3-3 three, three is a blank. Lind, as that's the, at least the third time I've dropped that blue D20 tonight. 5-6. That's going to be a power hit to right field. That's an 11, and against a righty, Lind is going to lead off the inning with a double of his own. He's learning from Lofton tonight, who can, who's got some power on him. Next batter here is Rios, who had that beautiful assist from center field to double off Wilkerson in the top half of the inning. Rios, though, has not been good with the bat tonight. He's 0 for 2. Strategy roll. Nothing happening on the 18. Padilla will turn and deal with Rios. Padilla gets the sign from Laird, and here's the pitch. 3-6. That's a possible error. Rios. 6-4. That's a base hit. That's a base hit to right to left to left field, which I believe there's no error check on that play. Would there be an error check there? I don't. Uh, don't. Yeah, I don't think there would be a base hit on an error there. Base runner rating three for Lind. Center single to single to left is a minus one arm. On a 1-2, to two, Lind will score. Actually, uh, actually, he's a plus 2 arm out there. So a 1-5, to five, Lind will score. That's a 1. This game is tied. <clears throat> and Rios finds himself at first with a base hit. Stadium cheers. Yay! <clears throat> As now we've got ourselves a tie game all of a sudden. Infield... We'll move to double play depth. And the batter now is Overbay. Overbay is one for two. <clears throat> he had a single back in the fourth inning. Infield is it. So that was a single for Rios. Strategy roll. The infield will play at double play depth, by the way. Strategy roll. That's a four. Nothing happening there. Padilla will get the sign from Laird, and here's the pitch. 2-3. Strikeout, 14. Not happening. Overbay. 4-2. That's popped, that's popped to first. Getting under that will be Teixeira. He'll make the catch for the first out of the inning. 
Next up is Frank Thomas. Thomas is 0 for 2. Strategy roll. That's a 20. Padilla, Padilla has no pickoff rating. I was about to say he turns and fires first, but never mind. Padilla has no pickoff rating. So Padilla will concentrate on Thomas. Here's the pitch. Dropping the D10 and or D20 and jarring the camera. All right, Padilla, 6-1. Range play at the park. Rogers center. That's a 4-2. That's a home run to the pull side. Against a righty, put against a righty, 1 to 14. The seven's good. And Thomas just managed to give the Blue Jays the lead. Boom! That ball is high. That ball is deep to left. That ball is deep to. That ball's deep to left field. Turning going back to the wall is Wilkerson. He'll keep going back, going back, going back to the warning track, to the wall, and he will run out of room as the ball leaves the park. Home run, Frank Thomas. And the Blue Jays take the lead 3-1. to one. Stadium cheers. Yay! Padilla put that one a little too close to Thomas' wheelhouse, and Thomas turned on that one and took it out. 3-1 three, one, three, three, one Blue Jays. I'll say that in English. As now we're going to start getting some activity in the Texas bullpen. Let's see. We've got a bunch of righties coming up, so they're going to get a lefty warming up. Let's see. Who does Texas have? Here we go. Texas will get C.J. Wilson warming up in the bullpen. Troy Glaus steps into the batter's box now. Infield is playing back. Glaus steps into the batter's box. He's 0 for 2. Padilla gets the sign from Laird, and here's the pitch. 3-6, possible error, Glaus. 4-3, that's a base hit to, that's a base hit to right field. So Glaus will get past that with a, Glaus will get to that with a single. He's the five hitter. Coming in is Matt Stairs, but that's going to be it for, that's going to be it for Badia. Let me compile stats here real quick. Okay, I'm just going to compile some st stats here for Badia. Uh, 5.1, gave up, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 hits, 3 runs, all earned, 2 walks, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 strikeouts, no hit batters, None of that. So Padilla was actually having a pretty good outing until about the until about the fourth inning where he started to lose control a little bit. And then sixth year, we kind of had the hammer drop on him. So coming into pitch for Texas will be C.J. Wilson. He had 2-1 with a 3.03 ERA and 63 strikeouts in 2007. So he'll be the second pitcher for the Rangers today. 3-1 Blue Jays, bottom of the sixth. The infield will stay, the infield will play at double play depth. Strategy roll. That's an 11, nothing going on there. Stairs steps into the batter's box next. Matt Stairs today is 0 for 2. Here's the sign from Laird in the pitch. 4-3, walk plus 10. 12 is easily going to be ball 4. Wilson comes in and proceeds to walk the leadoff batter. The first battery faces. And the Rangers are beginning to implode here. Aaron Hill into the batter's box next. He's got two walks. Strategy roll. That's a two. Mm, nothing happening there. Hill will turn Wilson will turn and deal with Hill. Here's the pitch. For six against a righty, that's a blank. Hill. 5-5, five, five. that's a power hit to left field. That's a 5, and against the lefty, he's going to end up with a base hit. Glaus will hold it third. Everybody will advance one base. And the sacks are going to be packed.
Bases full of birdies for Jason Phillips. Uh, let's Uh, right, 5-5 five, five was a, that was a blank, and then, right, that was a, that was a base hit, okay. Now that I've got that figured out, base is full of birdies for Phillips. Phillips is 0 for 1, he had a sacrifice back in the 5th. Strategy roll, that's a 16, nothing happening there. Wilson will turn and deal with Phillips. Wilson, 2-3, that's a pitcher result. The 7 against a righty is going to be too high. Phillips. 2-3. That's going to be grounded to, grounded to second. That's going to be grounded to second. Let's see. 3-4-5. Grounded to second. Shortstop pivot is... Shortstop pivot 0. On a 1-5, to five, the Rangers get out of the inning. Double play. Side retired. So that's going to be a... Four six three. Four six three double play. But the rain but the Blue Jays pick up three runs in the but the Blue, Blue Jays pick up three runs on the inning and now find themselves with a three one lead. Almost as easy as you please. We'll get ready for the top of the seventh now with the heart with the top of Texas's order due up next. Halliday is going to come out of the game to lead off the sixth. He was having a lead off the seventh. He was having a pretty shaky start anyway, but he's in line for the win somehow. Coming into pitch for the Blue Jays will be Scott Downs. Fifty-seven strikeouts on a two-point-one-seven ERA back in two thousand seven. Lofton is the first batter. He is one for one with a triple and two walks. Downs will deal with Lofton, and here's the pitch. 6-5, strikeout 13, no way. Lofton, 4-5, that's going to be grounded to second. Getting over to, getting after that will be Kinsler. He'll flip it over to first, actually, not Kinsler. Getting after that will be Hill. He'll flip it over to Overbay at first, and that will be the first out of the inning. Next up will be Young. Young is 1-3. for three. Downs waits for the sign, and here's the pitch. 6-3. Wild pitch, ball one. Downs will do it again. 4-6. That's a pitcher result. The three is going to be a... The three is just barely going to be an automatic out. And that's going to be grounded to second once again. Getting after that is going to be... Ken, is going to be not Kinsler. It's going to be Hill once again. He'll flip it back over... He'll flip it right back over to Overbay, and that'll be the second out of the inning. Next up is Teixeira. Teixeira is one for three. Downs waits for the sign in the pitch. One, five. Possible error. Teixeira. Four, two. That's going to be flied to, fly to right field. Getting under, getting under that is... Getting under that is stairs. His error rating is a. His error rating is a zero. He's not going to make an error there. He'll pull that in, and that will be a one-two-three inning for the Blue Jays. We're at the seventh inning stretch. As usual, I will not torture you guys with my rendition of "Take Me Out to the Ball Game." We will get some more activity in the Toronto bullpen, though, as Downs is now tired, so he's most likely coming out of the game after this. They're going to get, um, let's see, righty, lefty, righty. They want to see if they can, yep, they got another lefty they can put in. So they're going to get Brian Tallett loosening in the Toronto bullpen. I will compile stats real quick. Thankfully, nothing interesting there. Wilson can pitch to one more batter before he tires. Uh, righty, lefty, righty. Let's see if we have another lefty in the Texas bullpen to start warming up. We do not. Um, all right, so I guess they're going to start warming. 
Scott Feldman up in the bullpen. We'll get ready to bring him in. As stepping into the batter's box is McDonald for Toronto. McDonald is 0 for 2. Wilson gets the sign from Laird, and here's the pitch. 6-2. Strikeout plus 7. Would have been a called... Would have been a, that's a swing. That's a miss. And the slider gets past... The slider gets past McDonald. Wilson is now tired. But he's going to tell the... He's telling his manager, Hey, coach, I can... Hey, manager, I can get out of this inning. I can... I'll get us out of this inning. Next up is Lind. Lind is one for three with a double. Wilson will turn and deal with Lind. That's a 5-4. Against the lefty, strikeout plus two would easily be another swing, another miss, and the slider once again gets past Lind. Rio steps into the batter's box next. Rios is one for three with a single. Wilson with the pitch. 5-3. That's a range play. Rios. 4-5. That's a power hit to... That's a power hit to center field. Or to left field. The 20 is going to be too high. But now it's a range play for... Now it's a range play for Wilkerson. His range is a 3. He'll get that easily. It may, he'll make that on the run, but he'll still have plenty of room for that. And that will retire the side. One, two, three, go the Blue Jays in order. And the score remains 3-1 Toronto. As we get ready for the top of the eighth, the Heart of Texas is ordered to up next, and I need to change my battery. The curtain's going to fall on Downs' night. He'll get credit for a hold. Coming in to pitch for the Blue Jays, Will be Brian. Will be Brian Tallett. Fifty-four strikeouts on a three-point-seven ERA back in two thousand seven. Sosa steps into the batter's box. He is zero for two with two strikeouts tonight and a walk. Tallett waits for the sign from. Tallett waits for the sign from Phillips, and here's the pitch. Four-four error on a throw. Sosa. Six-five. That's going, to be a, that's going to be sky to left field. Getting under that will be Lind, and there will be one out in the inning. So no need for a throwing error on that one. Next up is the third baseman, Blaylock. Blaylock is 0 for 2 with a walk. Tallett waits for the sign, and here's the pitch. 3-4. That's a base hit to center. That's a base hit to left field. So Blaylock will reach with a one-out single. Next batter is Kinsler. Kinsler is 0 for 3. Infield will play at double play depth. Strategy rolls, I believe, are off at this point. Um, when run differential in game plus inning is greater than 10. Two run differential, eighth inning, yep. Strategy rolls are now off. Actually, that's greater than 10, so I think strategy rolls are actually still on. It's a two run differential, we're in the eighth, so I think, so yes. Actually, let me double check that in the rule book. But the way the chart's reading, strategy rolls right now would still be on at a two run differential in the eighth. Is greater than 10. Okay, so it does say specifically greater than 10. So strategy rolls are still on. That's a 15, nothing happening. Tallett will wait for the sign-in from Kinsler, and here's the pitch. Now oh, that reminds me. Let's do that. Just so I keep my pitchers straight. Makes it easier to compile statistics. Anyway, Tallett, 1-5. Strikeout plus 6. That's a swing. That's a miss. As I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted. On Tallett's card, we rolled a 1-5, which is a strikeout plus 10. The 6 says swing, miss, and an at an ugly splitter that Kinsler decided to go chasing, and that will be the second out of the inning.
As the batter now is Wilkerson. Wilkerson is Wilkerson is 0 for 1 with two walks. Strategy roll. Nothing happening on the 19. Talent will turn and deal with Wilkerson. Here's the pitch. For 6 against the lefty, that's another strikeout plus 10. 13, that'll be another swing. That'll be another miss. And Talent will duck the will duck trouble thanks to that splitter he's got. So nothing across except the single for the Rangers, and it remains 3-1 Blue Jays. Let's see, that was five. Wilkerson, okay, so Blaylock was five. Kinsler, okay. Now that we've got that sorted out, getting ready for the bottom of the eighth, CJ Wilson is gonna come out of the game. Let me compile stats for him real quick. So 1.2, walk, so he gave up one hit, no runs. Give up a walk, struck up two. Coming into pitch for the Rangers will be Scott Feldman. 40, 19 strikeouts on a 5.77 ERA back in 2007. He'll be the third Ranger pitcher tonight. We're also going to get activity in the Toronto blue, blue pen, Toronto bullpen, as the Blue Jays are going to look to get this game over with and. Who would their clo- oh, here we go. They're going to get their closer, Jeremy Accardo, loosening up in the Blue Jays' bullpen. So Feldman will come in and face Lyle Overbay first up. Overbay is one for three tonight. Feldman gets a sign from Laird, and here's the pitch. One four. That's at the park. Rogers center. Six two. That's a single plus to left to center field. So Overbay will reach, but he has to tr potentially try for second. Single to center is right. That's okay. That's a two. Wait, two six at the oh six two at the park. That's a single to center field. That's a center field is locked, and he's a zero arm. So a one to three. How does this work when it's a single plus? Um, so on a base running plus outfielder arm plus modifier, so, okay, base running three plus arm zero plus modifier is a minus two. So it looks like on a, let me see how this works on a single plus. Um, where are you? I think that's ballpark reading. Yep, four, six. So, single plus. Roll 2d6 and it's the combination of the... So, roll 2d6 in, against the combination of the batter's base running rating and outfielder arm. If the roll is equal to or less than the... Why would it be a 2d6? So, it looks like on a 1 to 3, he stretches it into a double. 4, 5, he's out. 6, there's a possible play from what I'm understanding on that. That's a two, which means, which presumably, and the way I'm understanding that, will mean Overbay would reach with a leadoff double. Which is going to turn into a big problem as Feldman comes in and immediately gives up a double to lead off the inning. Because of course he does. Next up will be Frank Thomas. Thomas had the two-run homer that gave the Blue Jays the lead. Strategy roll. Probably the last one of the game at the rate we're going. That's a two. Over, Overbay is not doing anything on the paths. So, Feldman will turn and deal with Thomas. Here's the pitch. 5-2. That's a blank. Thomas. 3-5. Against a righty, that's going to be flied to left field. Getting under that will be Wilkerson. He'll make the catch for the first out of the inning as Thomas was looking to try to deal the death blow there. Next up will be Troy Glouse. He is one for three with a single. Strategy roll. That's a 10. Nothing going on there. Feldman will turn and deal with Glouse. Gets the sign from Laird and here's the pitch. 2-1. That's a blank. Glouse. 
one one that's going to get skied right back to the pitcher as Feldman will get under that himself and haul it in for the second out of the inning. Next up will be Matt Stairs. Stairs is 0 for 2. He's got a walk and a strikeout today. Strategy roll. Nothing happening on the 13. Feldman will turn and deal with Stairs. Feldman, 2-3. That's at the park. Rogers center. 1-4. That's a base hit to left field. Or that's a base hit to right, but Stairs has to try to stretch it. Over bay three, over bay base running three, two outs becomes a four. Single to left is a plus two arm. No throw needed. Over bay will score. Stairs will reach first, but he has to try to stretch it. He's the five or the six. Stairs is the six hitter. So he has to try to stretch it. On um, his base running is probably pretty bad though. His base running is a one. So on a so one single this single plus to center or single plus to left I should say is single left is a Wilkerson is a zero arm. So the only way stairs is safe at second is on a one. Shockingly, that's a one. Stairs will make it to second with a double. He'll have to slide in. The throw will be close, but he'll be safe. That's going to be a double, and Feldman is already is now facing a lot of trouble. It's four one rain. It's four one Blue Jays. Stadium cheers! Yay! Let's see. Overbay was the Overbay is the three hitter, so he goes there. Okay. Batter now is Hill. Hill is one for one with a single and two walks. Strategy rolls are now off. Feldman will turn and deal with Hill. Feldman, 2-6. That's a range play. Hill. Trying to pull that through nice and clean. 4-3. That's going to be a double to center field, but it's a range play for... A center, but that's a range play for Rios. His ra his range is a three. He'll get that. He'll make a diving stop on that to prevent that from going any further and retire the side. Two, two doubles and one hit, and the score is now 4-1 Blue Jays. But will we see some ninth inning magic? Let's move to the top of the ninth with the bottom of Texas' order due up and find out. Right, almost forgot to pull out stairs. Hill was the last batter of the inning. Okay. All right. That's going to be it for Brian Tallett. I'm going to compile stats for him real quick. He came in here. One inning pitched, one hit, nothing else. Two strikeouts, though. He actually had a pretty good outing. Coming in to pitch for the Blue Jays will be... Jeremy... Cardo. Looks like he was their closer. 4-4 four and four with a 2.14 ERA. 30 saves in 2007. Nelson Cruz steps into the batter's box first. Cruz is 1-3. for three. He had a double tonight. Accardo waits for the sign from Phillips and here's the pitch. 4-5. That's a strikeout plus. The 7 is a swing. Is a miss. That'll be an easy strikeout for That'll be an easy strikeout for Ricardo. One away just like that. The batter now is the batter now is Laird. Laird is one for, is 0 for 3. He hit into a double play back in the sixth. Ricardo waits for the oop. Wait. Hold on. I think I put Ricardo's card. Yep, that's exactly what I did. Okay, Cardo gets the sign from Phillips, and here's the pitch. 5-1. Against a righty, that's a walk. 10. Will be ball four. So Laird will reach with a one-out walk. Let's 
Stepping into the batter's box will be Lofton. Lofton having a pretty good night. He is he's one for two with a triple and two walks. Strategy rolls are off. Infield will play at double play depth, even though Accardo is lousy at getting double play balls. Accardo waits for the sign from Phillips, and here's the pitch. 5-3. That's an error on a throw. Lofton. 5-3. That's going to be a star line result. That's going to be grounded to short. Now we got to see if the... That's going to be grounded to short. Waiting for that is... Is McDonald. His error rating is a 5. That's a 15. He, he won't make an error on the throw. Now, we got to see if the... There's going to be an error on the pivot. We'll get there in... Actually, we'll... We'll get there in a minute. So, actually, I'm probably going to do this wrong, but... We're going to start off with a normal double play procedure. One, zero, one. Hit to... So that was hit to second, I believe it was. Yes, that was hit to second. So... So it's hit second. Shortstop is your pivot man on a zero. The only way this is a potential double play is on a one. Nope, that's going to be a... Okay, we got to check if he makes an error on the throw. So it won't be a double play. The throw is going to second on a fielder's choice. Actually, that's going to be a four. Actually, that would be that would be a four six. But the error is going to be on. The error is going to be on Kinsler. He, he's a seven. That's a fifteen. He won't make an error. So that would be a four six fielder's choice. And two outs in the. Oops. Yeah, two outs in the inning. As Lofton will reach on the fielder's choice. It took me a little bit to figure out how that was going to go. Last hope for the Blue Jay, last hope for the Rangers, I should say, is Michael Young. Michael Young is one for four with a strikeout tonight. Strategy rolls are still off. Accardo waits for the sign from Phillips and the pitch. 6 2. Strikeout 10. Called strike three on the outside corner. That's your game as the slider. Just catches the outside corner, and that's your ball game. As the Blue Jays manage to duck an early rush from Texas and win this one 4-1. to one. Final line score coming up. Mm. Let me just tally everything up here. So one, two, nothing else of interest there. For the Blue Jays, four runs on five hits and no errors. Rangers, one run on three hits and no errors. Roy Halladay will end up with the win. Vicente Padilla will end up with the loss. Jeremy Accardo will end up with the will end up with the save. Two strikeouts. Downs and Talent will both end up with holds. Let's find. So the question now becomes, how did the rest of the majors fare on April 30th, 2007? Let's go ask the ticker tape and find that out. Time now for another round of ticker tape testing brought to you by Fast Score Baseball. It's April 30th, 2007. As usual, I'm using pink dice for the home for the away team, yellow for the home. First up, Phillies and the Braves. Phillies, 816 is 2. Braves, 1251 is 6. That's a win for the Bravos. Diamondbacks and the Dodgers. Diamondbacks, 765 is 9. Dodgers, 345 is 4. That's a win for the Snakes. Cardinals and the Brewers. Cardinals, 861 is 7. Brewers, 1661, actually 1664 is 10. And the Beer Makers win a shootout. 
Marlins, and the Mets. Marlins, 25-23, wow. 25-23 is 5. Mets, 17-15 is 3. And the Fishies will take that one. Cubs and the Pirates. Cubs, 15-24 is 4. Pirates, 4-25 is 2. That's a win for the Baby Bears. Nationals and the Padres. Nationals, negative 442. Ouch. That's two, though. Padres, 1514 is also two. They will have extras. Nationals roll a one, plus three is four. Padres also roll a one, minus two. That'll be a win for the Nationals. Rockies and the Giants. Rockies, 1155. Once I flip this back over, 1155 is 7. Giants, 826 is 3. That will be a win for the Rockies. Orioles and the Tigers. Orioles, 1134 is 4. Tigers, 2015 is, four, is also 4. They will go to extras. Baltimore rolls a 2. Plus 2 is 4. Detroit rolls a 2. Minus 1 is 3. That will be a win for the Orioles. Last up, Angels and the, and the Royals. Angels, 14-14 is 2. Royals, 245 is 4. That will be a win for the Royals. That will do it for the baseball portion of this video, but I just got a delivery in earlier tonight, so we're going to go ahead and unbox that from Amazon. I just got this delivery in from Amazon earlier tonight, so we're going to crack this open and see what's in here. Actually, the tape seems to be pretty well torn on this side, so it's probably going to be easier to just open it from right here. Nicely done. And how about over here? Okay, that's actually got to get cut. All right, then we can come right down here with like that. And once we get into the box, we'll be greeted by two new... Aeon's End Games in here. First up, we will pull out... Oops, let me move that box over out of the way just to touch. We will be greeted by Aeon's End War Eternal from Indie Boards and Cards. I'm a re I really enjoy the Aeon's End Games, so I wanted to add some more base games to my library of that. Plus, I need new adversaries for Nyrissia and Solidia to take on. Take a quick look at the back of the box. Gravehold remains the last bastion of the world that was... As the otherworldly incursions from the creatures known only as the Nameless intensify, a cater of strange survivors emerges from the, emerge from the void itself. Will they be Gravehold's salvation or its undoing? Aeon's End War Eternal is a cooperative deck-building game where your deck is never shuffled. A variable player order simulates the chaos of battle, and deck management makes all your decisions meaningful. Each game you will face a different nemesis, each with a unique set of abilities that re requiring a different strategy to be defeated. War Eternal is a standalone game that contains everything you need to play. War Eternal can be combined with Anne's End for extended gameplay options. And on the subject of Anne's End, the other box in here contains Anne's End The New Age, and it's a little heavier as I'm noticing. Introducing Expedition Mode. Ooh, that could be interesting. The people of Gravehold have survived the nameless assault for years, living their lives in, in spite of a world at war. The new generation of mages are bolder than their parents and more determined than ever to find a way to live in peace. But determination taken too far can become madness, and the void can corrupt even the most stalwart soul. And we've got the same talk there, but we'll look at the new blurb. Aeon's End, The New Age, introduces an infinitely replayable expedition mode which builds on the existing Aeon's End lore. It also includes all new mages and nemeses, as well as gems, 
relics, and spells that are compatible with all existing content. Aeon's End, The New Age, is a standalone expansion that can be mixed and matched with the other standalone games. So more Aeon's End to add to my library of Aeon's End content. But that will do it. That will finally do it for this video, of, primarily on Inside Pitch. We're still in the middle of a busy week, and that will continue heading into the next few days. Wednesday, we're going to be playing Dune Imperium. And Thursday, we're continuing baseball testing with a game of payoff pitch baseball. This time, we'll have the San Francisco Giants traveling to New York to take on the Mets. Buddy Black will be going for San Francisco in a matchup from June 17th, 1991, or July 17th, 1991. And Frank Viola will be going for the Mets. Mets and the Giants on Thursday. As for Saturday, Mystical Munchies will feature the dessert out of the official Halo cookbook, Chocolate Cream Pie. Thank you for watching the video. Please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Be sure to turn on notifications so you get my content. Be well, stay safe, take care of yourselves and your loved ones, and I'll be back with more videos in the future. Until then, take care everyone.